problem number 12 two trains A and B are moving on parallel tracks in the same direction and at different speeds train B 180 meter long is moving at 120 kph train A 120 meter long is behind train B and moving at 100 k 180 kph at a certain time the clear distance between trains is uh, 550 meters now, we are asked to find the following find the distance traveled by train B when the front end of train A caught up with its tail end then find the distance traveled by train A when its front caught up with the tail end of train B. Then how long will it take for train A to completely overtake train B? So first, we uh, illustrate what is given in the problem. So here we have two trains A and B moving on parallel tracks meaning we have two trucks so we have two trucks so this is truck one and we have here truck two so they are moving in the same direction and at different speeds so train B is 180 meter long is moving at 120 kph while train A is 120 meter long is behind so we let train B here so train B is in front yeah? this is train B so train A is behind train B so here is train A behind okay. so train A okay so the velocity or the speed of train B is 120 so we let the velocity is equals to v sub b to be 120 kph let's say moving to the right okay so moving this way and the velocity of train a is uh, 180 kph so we let b sub a equals to 180 kph moving in the same direction to the right okay the length of train B is uh, 180 meters and the, well the length of train A is 120 meters okay at a certain point of time the clear distance between trains between these two trains is 100 or oh, 550 meters so as a certain point of time the distance between these two here put it here is uh, 550 meters now letter A Find the distance traveled by train B when the front end of train A caught up with its tail end. So first, we determine the difference between uh, the velocity between uh, these two trains. We all know that train A will catch up with, with train B because the velocity of train A is greater than the velocity of train B so first we determine the difference in velocity okay 
after getting the difference in velocity we let this velocity run through this distance to determine the time traveled or needed for train A to catch up the tail end of train B okay so we determine the difference so difference in velocity is equals to b sub a minus b sub b is equals to 180 minus 120 will give you 60 kph so we need to convert this uh, unit into meter per second so here 1000 meter over 1 kilometer we need to cancel the kilometer here so we let the kilometer at the bottom and the meter above and then we need to cancel out the hour here so we let the hour in the numerator and the 3600 seconds okay this will give us <coughs> 60 times 1000 divided by 3600 this will give us 16.67 meter per second okay so we use this velocity and this distance the clear distance between train A and train B to get the the time needed for train A to catch up with the tail end of train B actually the front end of train A to catch up the tail end of train B so to get the time we use this and then we use this so so from of time is equals to uh, distance over the uh, velocity difference in velocity so the distance is 550 over 16.67 and this will give us 550 divided by 16.67 uh -huh, 33 seconds okay is all uh, the time for train A needed to catch up the tail end of train B. Okay. Now we we need we, we are now ready to solve uh, letter A and B. So first letter A. So the distance traveled by train B. So. So the distance will be equal to train B is equals to the velocity of train B and then the time needed for train A to catch up the tail end of train B. Okay? So T where B is equals to B sub B is equals to 120 meters. 20 kph we convert this to meter per second again so one hour is equals to 30 3600 seconds okay so it's equals to so we have 120 times 1000 divided by 3600 so we have 33.33 meter per second okay so now we are ready to solve for the distance travel by train B so distance travel by train B is now equal to 33.33 times the, the time needed 33 seconds so we have 33.33 .33 times 33 
1,100 meters okay so 1,100 meters or 1.1 kilometers is the distance traveled by train B now for letter B the distance traveled by train A is equal to the velocity of train A times the time needed for train A to catch up detail end of train B so VA again VA B sub A is 180 kph we convert this to meter per second also so 1000 meter over 1 kilometer 1 hour over 3600 seconds so we have 180 times 1000 divided by 3600 so we have 50 meters per second okay now to solve for the distance traveled by train A so DA is equals to 50 times 33 is equals to 50 times 33 will give you 1650 meters or 1.65 kilometers this is our answer for letter B now letter C how long will it take for train A to completely overtake train B so for train A to completely overtake train B train A should travel this distance so train A train A should be somewhere here at that time okay so this is the should be the position of train A to completely overtake train B so we need to solve for this distance uh, here so this distance and then this distance so we need this distance okay and that is 120 plus 550 plus 180 is equals to 300 850 300 plus 550 850 meters okay so we have the distance for letter c we have the distance total and that is 850 and the velocity we will use is their difference in velocity this one so the difference in velocity is 16.67 meters per second so now we're ready to solve for the time needed for train A to overtake train B so time time to overtake train B to completely overtake train B is equals to the total distance and their difference in velocity is equals to 850 over 16.67 so we will have 850 divided by 16.67 51 seconds so is our answer so for train A to completely overtake train B at this position where the front end of train B is aligned to the tail end of train A we need train A needs 51 seconds okay so here is our answer for letter C uh, this one is our answer for letter B and this one is our answer for letter A so 
Okay. I think uh, that's it.